Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 370 on our <laughs> circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're here in Tikal in Guatemala and the sun hasn't yet risen above the jungle around us. But for us it's time to wake up because we've got an ancient Maya city to explore. We camped here last night inside the Tikal National Park, right next to the Mayan city ruins. And about one hour ago, we just had like this crazy howler monkey symphony. Crazy. I thought that you were snoring. <laughs> Yeah, I think he was snoring actually. I don't know, but I thought at the beginning that you were snoring. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on here? Wow. There was like a few groups uh, all around us and it was just absolutely crazy and super loud. It was amazing. It was actually amazing. Normally I'm sleeping with earplugs, but I had to take them out and just listening to what was happening. It was, wow. The park is opening at six o'clock. It's now 5.45 and it's just a short walk over there. So we will just have some break first and then we will get the move on. Bye bye bye. Well look it's super misty around this morning. I like it. <laughs> That's the Mayan atmosphere. <laughs> no drones. Unfortunately Pinky and the brain have to stay back with Bumblebee. <gasps> I would say they are pretty peligro to be honest. <laughs> They're not wrong. Let me show you guys what we're gonna try and do this morning. So we're starting here at the front. First, we're gonna be heading straight up to the Grand Plaza, which has like a whole group of temples, including the Grand Jaguar Temple. And then we'll be heading all the way to the very end where there is Temple Four, which is actually the tallest temple in the whole archeological park. I think it's 70 meters high. So from there, you can have an amazing view of the whole ancient Maya city. Let's get there before anybody else does. absolutely crazy tree and I think the mist makes it even more dramatic and unreal. That is a massive tree. The rainforest here is so crazy thick and tall and just full of beautiful palms and ferns. Magical. We can see groups of howler monkeys rustling about in the trees all around us. You can't really see the monkeys themselves, but you can sort of see all the trees and hear them. And I can still hear the howler monkeys calling over on that side as well. This crazy demonic sound. Amazing, the howler monkeys are all over this area, just like foraging in the canopy. Absolutely amazing. This forest here is so incredibly beautiful. Wow, the first views of the Temple of the Jaguar. And this is from like the back side of it. So we're about to go round into the main plaza where all the collection of most of the large temples are. Here it is. We are home, darling. <laughs> It's just so misty and the sun is just rising above the jungle behind us. There's parrots just here. And literally, we're the only ones down here in the main plaza. Look at this. Wow, what 
an incredible place. This one here is the Temple of the Jaguar. This is the North Acropolis. You've got Temple 2, that's what they call it. And then the Central Acropolis on this side. So it forms this amazing, massive square called the Grand Plaza in the center. This is the heart of Tikal. This is the, the very, very, very center. So Tikal was discovered in 1848 by Coronel Modesto Mendez and Ambrosio Tut. It was opened to the public in 1955 and it was recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1979. So the name comes from Mayan, meaning in the lagoon, but it's also known as the place of the spirit voices or the parrot voices or the howler monkey voices. The Mayan civilization itself is pretty impressive, running from 800 BC to 900 AD. That's like 1,700 years. And this city itself reached its zenith in 750 AD. And at that time, the nucleus of the city was 65 square kilometers. And they estimate that there was more than 50,000 people living here. Impressive. There's actually a documentary film crew here as well. And they've got all their cameras set up and they're getting some shots as well. We might be ruining their shot, I'm not sure. Apparently the buildings of this Grand Plaza were built over a period of a thousand years. Can you imagine that one building there might be a thousand years older than one building there as part of the same city? It's just absolutely incredible, the, the scale and the timeline of this. But by far the two most impressive structures in the Grand Plaza are the Great Jaguar Temple and Temple 2 and these two were both built in 700 by the governor Jasor Chan Kawil, also known as Mr. Coco apparently. And his tomb was actually discovered inside the Grand Jaguar Temple. So it's crazy that in 700 these two massive temples were built and by 900 the Mayan civilization had all but disappeared. 1,500 years to build it up to this point and then gone. There's all these upright stones all around this plaza and on some of them we can see carvings and these carvings basically are telling the history and the stories and this is what is giving the Mayan archaeologists all their info about the Mayan civilization because by the time the Spanish arrived here there was no one around to say what this was all about. There's a cutie, a goody. Hello. No, he's like pretending that he didn't see us. Oh. Hey guys, exciting news. We finally got our very first sponsor. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so we just wanted to take a minute to show you guys this amazing app from our newest supporter, On Vacation Doctor. Just imagine the following scenario. You're traveling in a foreign country, you're exploring the wonders of the world, and all of a sudden you get sick. Panic sets in, and you just want to talk to a real doctor, but you don't speak the local language. This is where the On Vacation Doctor app comes in handy. This app connects you to top English-speaking doctors in any country in the entire world. All you need to do is to input your location and the app will provide you with the name, phone number and location of the closest English-speaking doctor. But the On Vacation Doctor app doesn't stop there. It also provides you with the local ambulance, fire and police numbers, as well as the local US Embassy address and phone number. But the best part about this app is that it's absolutely free to use for the first six months. And then it's only $4.99 for the next six months, which is absolutely crazy and super affordable. So please guys, show your support for our very first sponsor by getting the app for free today. You will find the link in the description below. Not only will you be ensuring your own health and safety whilst traveling the world, but you'll also be showing the world what an amazing sponsee we are. So guys, stay healthy, safe travels, and now back to the video. 
like you are on the top of the jungle you know you feel like that you are really in there I'm just so impressed with the scale of these structures. They're so massive, like this is just huge. And this is not even the tallest structure in this whole ancient city, because now we're gonna be heading to a temple called Temple Four, which is right at the back of this archeological park. And that is 70 meters tall. And apparently you can climb all the way to the top. So ahead of us, through this thick jungle, stands the largest temple in Tikal. And we are just about to start climbing it. Let's count the steps, eh? <laughs> Don't worry, that's what the Fitbit's for. One eternity later. Yeah. You can still see the cloud line, actually. There we go, at the top, Temple Four. So this temple was built in 740 AD and it is 70 meters tall, making it the tallest structure, pre-Columbian structure, in the whole of Mesoamerica. So this is like skyscraper of the ancient world. <laughs> I mean, it really is, I mean, look at this. So over there is the Grand Plaza that we came from originally with the Great Jaguar Temple there and Temple 2 there. And then Temple 3, this one we passed along the way to here. Crazy from up here, you can still hear the howler monkeys, all of them echoing throughout this whole forest. But it's so impressive as well because from up here you can literally just see forest the whole way around. Reminds you what it can look like when you just let nature do its thing. It's incredible. It's so alive, it's so beautiful. And then with these peaks of these temples popping up in between, that's why this site was the first UNESCO World Heritage Site to be designated and classified based on cultural heritage and natural beauty, definitely one of the wonders of the ancient world. All right, I am incredibly hot now. I think this is not even like, you can't even say incredibly hot. I think it's one level above it. The bike is recording 35 at the moment and I can tell you that getting on this gear <laughs> has a challenge. Getting it on this gear challenge. at 35 degrees is, is a massive challenge. Yeah. <sighs> oh my god. But absolutely worth it. <laughs> <laughs> ciao ciao. <laughs>
we just had some sandwiches back at the camp packed up the camp and now we're ready to hit the road again oh yes what a beautiful sight here oh my god i really I just can't believe how amazing it is here like the jungle combined with the ruins <laughs> yeah it's like a wow. double wonder of the world yes. I mean, we saw so many howler monkeys we saw koatis we saw this beautiful turkey yesterday wow hello he is so incredibly beautiful oh listen <gasps> he's saying hello hello sweet dear it's not very good impression. And then of course, the ancient city itself, in between all that jungle, is just super, super impressive. What a crazy feat of engineering and determination back then in the pre-Columbian period. I mean, those are some super tall buildings for back then. That building that we were standing at the top of was the tallest building in the whole of the Americas when it was built. And for the next 1,000 years, it's insane. Definitely a wonder of the ancient world and that was well worth a visit. Yeah, a really, really what? special place. So now it's nearly midday and we have a really exciting ride still to do because we will be heading to the Mexican border. Woo! <laughs> we won't cross into Mexico today because that will be pushing it a little bit too much. Our navigation says it will take us four Four hours to the border and then we will probably check out if there's a place for us to stay yeah four hours ride is still quite a big ride to do so let's see how we get on and see how close we can get you So away from the national park where there's no big rainforest to cool us down the temperature has just shot way up it's now 37 degrees and it's uh bordering on unbearable yeah it's really really crazy here what a huge difference it is many unbearable hours later it's unbelievably hot I think we have like 39 degrees at the moment and Oli went in the shop and bought me a, a ice cream but it looks like this <laughs> so I have to figure out now how to eat that it's time for us to get in a room with the AC <laughs> we're about halfway now we've ridden two hours and we have two hours more to go but yeah it's not really an easy ride we're desperately trying to eat some pineapple <laughs> see if it will cool us down a little bit i don't think we've had temperatures this high since like africa since senegal that was probably the last time that we hit 38 degrees not even 38 it was 39. i really didn't expect that it would be guatemala that would be the hottest of all the countries we've been through and it's humid as well like whoa that's hot mm. It's official, we have reached 40 degrees. What a milestone, hey? What a milestone. Yeah, actually, Oli's phone is not working anymore because it's overheated. Yeah, I got a temperature <laughs> warning. Yes, and normally we're using it for, with uh, Google Maps to route us to the border. It said, I'll turn back on when you reach the air conditioning. I'm nearly at that point, I'm gonna shut down until we get to the AC.
Levy's just checking out a room in the second hotel which is called Hotel Alan and um, the owner just told us that the electricity for the whole town is out at the moment so basically there's no AC here or in the other hotel until she reckons the electricity will come back on in about an hour <sighs> we were like so hoping to go to a room straight away and just jump in front of the air conditioning unit but it looks like we might have to wait a little bit longer hello Hello. <laughs> we made it happy and alive and really exhausted and happy that we have an AC room <laughs> yeah finally it got to six o'clock and the air conditioning did come on yes. so the woman wasn't lying about about that so the room is cooling down and that's making us really happy and we've got the kettle on the go for some noodles but yeah it's been an incredibly long day with five hours walking and then four hours riding there's almost the limit of what you can do in a day yes it's just about time to get a good rest because tomorrow we have a crazy day ahead we will cross into mexico and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below. And if you really, really, really like our videos, you can join us on Patreon. The link is in the description below. We will see you next time.